mid-60s, mechanical engineering graduate courses were introduced at the Universidade Federal do Rio de Janeiro, one of the most prestigious universities in Brazil's higher education system. Since then, they have consolidated in their pursuit of excellence. Well ranked, they have held in the last evaluations the maximum grade of 7 from CAPES, a Brazilian state agency for funding and evaluating our graduate education system. Many younger universities across the country have master's and PhD alumni from the UFRJ Mechanical Engineering Department and their faculty staff. Uh, I came here to the Department of Mechanical Engineering because it offered me a, a good scholarship and the opportunity to, uh, to work with uh, different people here. I came here, I did my master uh, degree here with a project uh, about the control of a uh, drone. I graduated and I stayed here. I liked the laboratory and I, I began my PhD course. The Department of Mechanical Engineer here in, in, at COPE was very important to me because it, it has a, a great in infrastructure. For example, here in the lab, we have a, a, a good amount of, of equipment, uh, sensors, actuators, and also a computer, a good uh, set of computers to develop our thesis, projects, and papers. Also, what I like the most is the re relation between the industry and, and the academic field. We have always considered uh, the question of uh, international, uh, international cooperation very serious in our graduate program and also in our uh, undergraduate uh, department of mechanical engineering. We have collaboration agreements with um, several universities uh, around the world. About 40% of our uh, scientific papers published in major uh, indexed journals, they count with co-authors from other countries. We have uh, always had many students from different countries, majorly from South America, but also from other countries in Central and North America, from Europe, from Asia as well. I'm French and in France I was studying in an uh, engineering school in uh, mechanical engineering and uh, there I had the to have my degree I needed to do at least three months on a uh, foreign country and I had the opportunity to do a double degree and so there were a lot of countries where, where I could go so I, the first time I went to speak with Professor Alcio he's, he told me about what they were on what they were working on in this laboratory and uh, he told me about a project that he wanted to do and he wanted some people to work on it. So right now I'm doing the, I'm working on the optimization of uh, the treatment of tumors, uh, of cancer tumors by hyperthermia. These cooperation agreements that we have with uh, different universities around the world, they open the possibility for the students to uh, have double degrees. and. Uh, also uh, to make part of their research abroad in world-class universities, equipment that we have in our laboratories and also different uh, uh, techniques uh, that we develop both from the experimental side and also from the computational side. The Department of Mechanical Engineering of the Polytechnic School and uh, the Graduate Engineering Program of COPY, they are fully integrated. So this means that uh, the undergraduate students, they can benefit from very well equipped laboratories and uh, also participate in uh, advanced scientific uh, and technological research. I came to the university in 2007 as an undergraduate student and uh, I finished my studies in 2012. I graduated uh, cum laude. During my master's I wasn't only studying for my thesis. I did a lot of parallel work that allowed me to get into the PhD with a broader vision. Then uh, I started my PhD which was a longer uh, process, four years. And another positive thing that happened which was that uh, the at the beginning of my PhD, I was invited formally by Professor Dulikrovich to spend one time, one year 
at uh, Florida International University as a visiting researcher. I have ingressed in the engineering school at the Federal University in Rio de Janeiro in 1981. Uh, already determined to course mechanical engineering. I was uh, passionate for mechanical engineering, machine design since uh, my teenage times. So that was a clear path for my career. I graduated in 85 and went to work in an uh, industry that manufactured uh, processing equipment for the general industry overall. In 1996, Six, I returned to, to the school once more time in copy with UFRJ to develop my PhD thesis, uh, which was in an area of uh, me solid mechanics. Since then, I, I have been in touch with the university on a professional basis as, as we frequently uh, go to the universities to seek for, for support in, in, in in various areas that uh, help us in developing new products and new services. I'm a mechanical engineer. I graduated uh, at the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro in the mechanical engineering program. I started studying there in 1982 and I graduated at the end of 1987. And just after that I started, uh, I took my master course in the same university this, in the mechanical engineering program again. In 1992, when I finished that, uh, I started work, working for, for large companies. And then after that, I, I started doing in Bactron, which, which is this company here. Bactron is a service company in the laboratory market. We do something very different. So here at Bactron, we do some collaboration and some projects with the, the university, the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro, where we are seeing this campus here. I have been a professor here at the Mechanical Engineering Department since 1993. So along these 25 years, I have witnessed lots of changes to keep track of this continuous revolutionary technological world. Let's talk a little bit about future. Future that is happening right now. It's quite impressive the radical changes we are facing in terms of technology. Here at Mechanical Engineering Department, we are particularly interested participating in this new revolution, the Industry 4.0. We are facing uh, changes, radical changes, in the way we design, we optimize, and produce. How can we participate in this revolution? So I think that one side, we have to put together complex if laboratory infrastructure, like this one we are right now. So on the other side, we think that people, the engineers in the future, will have to have new skills. They will have to study all their lives. The mechanical engineering department, with its human and physical infrastructure, is strategically located at the university's main campus on Ilha do Fundão. The campus hosting institutes, laboratories, and R&D centers of major technological companies, besides providing a pleasant ambiance for students and professors, also constitutes an essential environment for the convergence of different disciplines. A critical ingredient for the production of the disruptive technologies that have been reshaping our lives.